we, we don't have no financial literacy. Black folks get some money, the first thing I want to buy is drip, chain, like that. We could probably justify it, you know, financially, and then we could all stop talking about it. Do you think we would stop talking about it after uh, reparations were delivered, let's say? Yeah, because then it would be done. Even if you still give us something, it's still not enough because it's just a starting point for everyone. What would be enough? <laughs> I couldn't even tell you. Do you think that would help or you think that's, uh, what are your thoughts? No, I don't think it would help at all. What is going on everyone? James Klug here. Should Americans pay slavery reparations? Today we're in Los Angeles to find out. Let's go talk to some people. Huge shout out to our friends over at Fume for sponsoring this video. Do you think that Americans should pay reparations for slavery? Yes or no? You think it's a good idea or a bad idea? Uh, again, bad idea for me. Bad our idea? Money can, yeah, our money can go somewhere else instead of that. Today, 2023, reparations yes. needed? Yes. yes. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, they should pay them. Yeah. yeah. We agree? I agree. We agree. They should have done it. They should pay for it, but that's back then. This is now. Why do you feel that way? And I see the stuff that we spend on, you know what I mean? And I know to me that's so long ago, so whatever it is that we're still going to make up for as long as it's been. You know what I mean? We need, we need stuff now, something different than that. Why do you agree? Because, I mean, I'll get paid. Pretty much. Paying for free work that, you know. You know, back then it was accepted. It was wrong, but it was accepted. So we shouldn't have to pay now for what our ancestors did back then. It's beneficial to black people. For one, building long-term wealth, but also building generational wealth. A lot of times, black people, we don't have generational wealth because we've been systemically oppressed. Since we're being systemically oppressed, we can't afford to have this generational wealth that most white people have. I don't know, I suppose it would depend on what it was, and at this point, I don't know. Is it even... Like, are you talking about them giving reparations right now? To people who yeah, are descendants of slaves. Um, I don't really think that should be a thing, because I, I mean, like... No point. one is a slave, and no one's right. family hasn't been a slave exactly. for so my, my long. My so mother it's like, wasn't, my grandmother wasn't, my great-grandmother wasn't. So it's like, it's kind of that time is almost passed in a way. Yeah. At least it's the way I feel about it, because I've always been able to do what I needed to do and make my own money, and, you know, I don't know. Who do you think should pay for it, in your opinion? Uh, I don't know, I guess the government, taxpayers, why not? Who do you think should uh pay for that the president the president yeah that's that's probably a good idea probably the president or something the president of the united states yeah who, who what, do, what do you think who should pay for it um well I, I i i don't really think reparations should be paid out at all in my opinion hmm. um i never owned slaves my ancestors got here late early 1900s true so there's a lot of people that weren't here when slavery existed should they still pay for it sure the people who benefited from slavery should be able to pay for it. People that benefited, so people that didn't benefit shouldn't pay, do we think? No, if you didn't benefit, then why would you pay? But if you benefited, and most people have, most most white people have benefited be, because of slavery. It's not, even just like, it's it's not just, just like, people. it's not just white people, but it's just like who ha whoever benefited from it because we're still, we're still in a, a position of that we are systemically oppressed. We're not where we should be. From since from slavery, which is 400 years ago, to now, we still aren't where we're supposed to be as a community of black people. Do you think that would help, or you think that's, uh, what are your thoughts? No, I don't think it would help at all. But would it, would it get a certain demographic of people in America over the hump so they could just forget about it and move on? Maybe. Considering we give billions of dollars to Ukraine and 20 years of war in Iraq and Afghanistan, I feel like... If they gave them something, we could probably justify it, you know, financially, and then we could all stop talking about it. Do you think we would stop talking about it after uh, reparations were delivered, let's say? Yeah, because then it would be done. That's a step in the right direction, but it's still like, at least thank you for doing something, but we still have a long way to go. So it doesn't stop at rep reparations, keeps... It's just, honestly, it, it's just a start. Even if you still give us something, it's still not enough because it's just a starting point for everyone. What would be enough? <laughs> I couldn't even tell you. All right, everyone, let's take a few moments to talk about today's sponsor. If we're ever going to save this country from lunatics, we need you 
to be healthy. It's been obvious for a while now that cold turkey is one of the worst ways to stop your bad habit, but the alternative is either cheap chemical fill, medical looking, gimmicky, or some other weird trick. Now today's sponsor, Fume, looks at it a different way. They look at behavioral science. Fume is an innovative, award-nominated device. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. Instead of vapor, Fume is flavored air. Instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses all-natural blends like citrus. You get it. Instead of bad, Fume is good, and it's a habit that you're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habit easy. Fume also has adjustable airflow and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting. Now, of course, the fidgeting stuff is completely awesome, but I actually tried Fume for myself and it's much more flavorful than I thought. It feels very fresh. Anyway, summer is around the corner and I challenge you to make it a goal to kick your bad habits before then. Head to tryfume.com slash James Klug and use code James Klug for 10% off when you get the Journey Pack today. The Journey Pack comes with three unique flavors and everything you need to finally free your bad habit. That's tryfum.com and use code James Klug to save an additional 10% on your order today. Let's get back to the video. But I mean, it's kind of sad because I mean, Native Americans are the ones that get the Ross end of the stick. What we need to do is heal from this shit and you admit that it happened, embrace it happened, apologize for it, right? Change the culture in the sense of make them feel like, all right, we're gonna admit this, we're gonna move forward. Do you see that as being the end of it or do you think more should be done after reparations? There has to, you know, people have to pay for their sins and their crimes, right? Would you stop it there or do you think, do you think that should apply for Native Americans as well? Well, Native Americans should get their land they cho of their choosing back. Do we support that idea or no? No. No? No. Like, what would we be paying them for? Like, hey, sorry? Like, that's what they're getting? I guess so, yeah. That sounds dumb. <laughs> you, wouldn't you think that's a little dumb? Why do you guys say no? I don't really see a difference now. I mean, I'm for it because it's free money, but for one, I'm for it, and two, I feel like everybody should, you know, actually get out here and get a job and not just get money just handed to them. I feel like sometimes people should pay because, like... Who who should pay? I'm, this sounds so cold. But unfortunately, you know, white people... Why, why is America, that, okay, do you listen, think? This is why I say. Because Native Americans, African slaves, and Hispanic people built this country and white people got the credit for it. Like, literally, they... We did all the work. They built they... the country. It's, the money is money is gonna help, but it's not gonna fix it. You feel me? Some people have brought up. Do you think that the hundreds of thousands of people that died in the Civil War to end slavery? Do you think that that was payment enough, or no? No, because even though they paid with their lives, and God bless them for it, even those families should be rewarded or recompensated of some sort. Maybe those people get reparations as well that fought yes, in the Civil indeed. War? Absolutely, indeed. Were, were the people that died during the Civil War, do you see that as payment for no, no. Uh, slavery or no? At all, no. No, I mean, people died during any war. Was that payment during the first Civil War? No. During the war in Afghanistan? People die in war, right? So that's not a payment. They're, that's they're trying to end sacrifice. slavery in the Civil War, Even is why I said that, that one. It's right. been in. Do you think that was enough payment? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you yeah, hey, yeah, it was. You think so? Yeah, I guess so. We're just asking for fair opportunities, equal opportunity. So we're not asking for you, um, California to pay reparations just to give us this absurd amount. We're asking for equal footing, equal grounding. So these reparations would allow them to have access to opportunities, open doors for them. So we're just asking to be treated as equals. Uh, my, my people, we haven't even been taught actually how to use money. Most people, most of my people want to get the money and blow it on cars and clothes and shoes and, you know, rather invest in and creating generational wealth. So it's like, I don't know, it's like, it's good and bad. We've just dug our hole so deep. He's asking about reparations. I told him the money is gonna help, but it's like our people still gonna be the same. It's not gonna really like help us. We we don't have no financial literacy. Black folks get some money. The first thing I want to buy is drip, chain, like that. So everybody needs to pay because they were involved in it, or their ancestors were. Yeah. Well, my ancestors got here like early 1900s. Should I? Do you think I should pay for that? I mean, I hope they weren't racist. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> you but, asked me that's how I feel. But, but no, if, okay. like, I mean, there, there was okay, only so like look, 25 look. million people in the United States during the time of slavery. Saying, and I get it, not all white people had a part to play in it. Not, you know, everyone who was 
a non-colored person. Not everyone was, you know, part of that. But for the ones that were and for the ones that are open and like, yeah, my family, you know, we did this and that. We were part of the Civil War, but we're on the South Side. Whatever the case may be, I feel like those people should pay. Like, you're open about being part of that. Then you should be willing to, you know, since you want to be so proud and speak on it, then you should be willing to pay something. So the people that are bragging that were involved in the South should, you think, yeah. um, should, should pay for that. That's a, pretty that small, that's a pretty small percentage of people. Okay, for the people that say they weren't, then, I mean, you know, like... Now, in, just in California alone, the estimate is around like six hundred billion dollars for uh, paying TV, for reparations. I mean, Do you think right those there. people could afford that? Everyone's gonna say they can't afford it because we're in a recession right now. Like, shit, I can't afford it. So, I mean, who am I to say? I don't know what your bank looks like. Do you think if those people pulled pulled, pulled their money together? they could pay for those reparations? And do you think that would be fair to them uh, since they- I mean, everybody's was... gonna like, you know, some people are gonna be like, whatever about it. Other ones are gonna try to fight it. Do you think that if you're taking money from American people today to repay for sins of their past, of ancestors in the past, or taking property from people today to pay for sins of ancestors in the past, or maybe not even ancestors, just yeah, people yeah. that lived in the United States, would that lean more towards unity or away from it? Well, I mean, of course, stripping people of their property. Like that might cause some problems. Well, yeah, it, it might. If they were to make people pay, no, I feel like it would cause more conflict, TBH. I feel like it'll be damage. I, really, I don't definitely feel like, damage. I definitely damage. I don't really definitely. feel like it'll be. I don't, I, I mean, too bad at that point. Like, too bad. Sorry, your ancestors were dicks and they stole the So, yeah. But going super far back, like with Native Americans, how are you going to do that? I'm not going to say that it's going to unify. It may even divide even more because there are some individuals that are so staunch in their perspective. But whether they feel that or believe that or not, compensation is still due to those that lost their lives. Yeah, kind of. I kind of do. I think anything at this point that is leaning towards more separation between people and differences between races is just going to cause more problems. Yeah. I think it would piss a lot of people off and yeah, I think it would be harmful. I honestly do. All right, everyone, that is it for today. So big surprise. A lot of people in Los Angeles want reparations. Let me know what you guys thought about these conversations down in the comment section below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and hit that bell notification button so you're notified next to my post. And I'll catch you guys next time. This hairdo is pretty good.